I've already shuffled and I'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how your person sees you, how you see them, then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Scorpio, for the present time, coming up mid-May, we've got Three of Wands and it's paired with Four of Cups. Now this Three of Wands is showing that you'll probably find that your finances are going much better. It'll probably feel like your ship has finally come in and you're likely to be feeling very strong with a really good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now this Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're being seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So give yourself some credit at this time. The Three of Wands, it's with the Four of Cups, which is about wishful, wishful thinking, as you can see. This man, he looks like he's at a park on the grass. His hand is bleeding, and he's so stuck in his head that he cannot get up and take care of himself. You can't see the red blood on his hand, but his hand is bleeding, so he needs help. He's just kind of stuck there. He's stuck in his head. Now, this card, it reminds or warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's all too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So. Be sure that you're counting your blessings and not to spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So it's about trying to put your focus on things, people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So. Basically coming up for the present time, Three of Wands, Four of Cups. It's showing that you might start to f experience some regret. And so it'll, it'll cause you to daydream. Looks like a lot. And um, or you might just start to feel like you're stuck in a comfort zone. That's what the Four of Cups could be also. You're heavily stuck in a comfort zone or you just, you got a lot of regret about something. And you're just kind of like wishing things were different and you're not realizing or paying attention to the blessings that you already have. And it looks like with this Three of Wands there, you don't stay stuck for too long because this Three of Wands is about growth. Yeah, so it's about looking ahead. It's about expansion and growth. So it feels like your ship, it, it just arrived. It finally came in. Yeah. And then I'm thinking again, it could go another way, but we should look at the rest of the reading to determine which direction this these two cards are going. Now, I can explain it to you. The Three of Wands and the Four of Cups can mean that your ship came in and you missed it. So there's regret. <laughs> so it could go either way. You know what I'm saying? So your ship finally came in. You got growth and expansion. Or you were about to receive growth and expansion. And you were stuck in your head daydreaming. And you missed out on it. So it could go either way. But like I said, let's take a look at the rest of the reading. And that will determine which way this goes. So, 
if you're dealing with someone, we'll move on over to how they see you. They see you like the Ten of Cups. Now, Ten of Cups, it's one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. It's not short of a cup or anything. This card, it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either way, it's a good card. It speaks of happy family life and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, pets, and much more. Also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture. It's a really good card to see, regardless of any question. So, they see you like a Ten of Cups. They see you as a dream come true. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Now, it's clarified with the card below, which is a Four of, four of Wands. Four of Wands it indicates that you may attend a special event, which I'm sure you won't, not anytime soon, or maybe down the line you will, but since we're in quarantine or on house arrest, I don't know what kind of special event that would be, but it could be online maybe. Um, but just know that it's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating when you get this Four of Wands. So, it's important to make sure you attend this event. Business, if you own a business and you get the Four of Wands, it's, like to, it's likely to be going very well. And you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you too. And this is a positive card to get in the reading, just know that. It shows that you probably need to keep your wits about yourself though. And you should try to treat yourself to some fun. But just know that you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also, this card can sometimes mean that you could be moving. Maybe moving your place of residence. So, this is how they also see you, your person, like the Four of Wands. They see you as marriage potential, long-term commitment with this Four of Wands. They want to celebrate life with you. That's how they see you as a dream come true. How beautiful, Scorpio. Beautiful. Now let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as lovers card and the Nine of Swords. Now the lover's card, it's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. It's possible that you're feeling very ambivalent about a relationship or it could be a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time and that's either fear or love and it's saying that when you get this lover's card it's safe to choose love because this is the time is likely to bring love in capital letters to the center stage of your life so you see them as falling in love yeah you see them as a deep love, a partnership, the strength of two, a union, coming together. Now let's clarify with the Nine of Swords, the card below it. The Nine of Swords, it's an interesting card. It's about guarding against feelings of anxiety. And if you're feeling anxious, take a look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, yeah, you might want to try to see if you can lessen it. And if this is the case, 
take a look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty is. So you see them as having some nightmares maybe, anxiety, grief, uh, something maybe troubling them with regards to the relationship. But you do see them as having a deep love for you, for this connection, but something's troubling them. It's causing some feelings of hardship and, and, and anxiety. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the nine of wands and the three of swords. Now the nine of wands, again it's about anxiety, worry, being, bird up, being burdened, keyed up over concerns. First and the best step is to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things you worry about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of your worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So it's about getting very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Because if you can see the picture on this card, the card that's right above why happening, that's the nine of wands. This man, he surrounded himself with all these wands. It looks like there's a fire behind him. It's coming towards him. And he's, it looks like he's about to battle. He's caged himself in and he's about to battle no one. There's no one coming towards him. There's no one around him. So he's about to battle himself while the fire is heading his way. So some of the worries could be imaginary. Yeah, so you might want to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening. Comfort yourself. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it because asking for help is the mark of a strong person. So... Why it's happening, um, one of the reasons is the Nine of Wands. There's some type of, still some type of anxiety. And we talked about that for how you see them. So there's still some stress here. Now it's paired with the Three of Swords, which is interesting because the Three of Swords, is, it's about heartbreak. Although... There's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card. What lies on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This card it can point to also some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on. Just know if you try, if you try to deny any pain, it won't make it go away. So, like I said, you have to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now. But, don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you are the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others can't decide this for you. So, why it's happening, uh, this Three of Swords... There could be some shutting each other out there with the Three of Swords. Relationship difficulties also. Worry and stress with this Nine of Wands. With the Three of Swords, there could be some re rejection. So, let's recap this reading so that we'll get the full picture. So basically, for the present time, the Three of Wands, let's see, yep, yeah, this growth and expansion, 
uh, if he can get stuck out of your head. Okay, with the Four of Cups. You're just kind of wishing things were different. And, like I said, your person, they see you as this Four of Wands. And they also see you as Ten of Cups. So, they want to celebrate life with you. And possible marriage they see you as marriage potential long-term commitment and you see them as having anxiety but there's a deep love there um, you see them possibly with this lover's card falling in love but they're worried about it and it's happening. Why it's happening? We've got some anxiety there. They're stressed as heck about loving you, Scorpio. They're afraid with this Three of Swords that you could break their heart. They're scared of loving you, Scorpio. They don't want to get their heart broken. So back to the present time it looks like your person is that four of cups they're just stuck in their head yeah they're stuck in their head but the two of you could actually have it all with this three of wands there because like i said three of wands is about finally things are happening your ship has finally come in. And you got two powerful cards here. This Ten of Cups and the Lover's card. There's a lot of love in this reading, but it looks like your person is afraid to give his heart to you. They're afraid that it's going to tear them apart, or they're afraid that you're going to break their heart. So, they're stuck in their head, and this connection it has the potential, like I said, for it to take off. Because the Three of Wands is about taking off, and things being good overall. You know, finally things are happening. So maybe they eventually come out of their head, and things take off in a really great way. Because like I said, there's a lot of love here. For how you see them and how they see you, but for right now, it makes some. It may take some some work to get them out of this anxiety mode, because who knows? Maybe it's their first love. They've never experienced such a beautiful thing before, so they might run. <laughs> but it looks like they they'll stick around because it looks like the ship finally comes in. It finally comes in so that's a beautiful ending and hopefully they won't run and they'll they'll stick around but I'm look I'm looking at this reading and it looks like they stick around and the ship finally comes in so Scorpio I hope you enjoy this reading as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next Scorpio reading, which is in about another three or, well, maybe four or five days. So, I hope 2020 is going well for you. And stay safe, be safe, and take care during these crazy virus times. So, once again, Scorpio, Thank you so much for watching. 
and I hope to see you at the next reading, and have a great day.